Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, and as always, no bullshit. Hey, guess what? I was listening to Sports Talk Radio, and I keep hearing, we're really honest here. We're not we're not cheerleaders. <laughs> I keep doing these, pro- you know, this time it was Mark Slareth. Well, I'll, and I'll give Mark Slareth, he's probably one of the better non-bullshitter, you know, but still, you know, it's... Even he still gives you, you know, some of the the the, the Kool Aid, but uh, I just think it's kind of funny that <clears throat> they're really having to. No, honest, gee, you know, whiz, we we really we're not here just cheerleading. Yes, there needs to be a new culture at uh, at the Denver Broncos organization, and this is why I suppose we brought in Vic Fangio, Scandrello, right? Uh, didn't the Kool-Aid, uh, the people passing out the Kool-Aid, didn't they say that, you know, Vic Fangio would be tackling for everybody, everything was going to change, and all this change, and everything was going to be so much better. Scandrello is already a mastermind, and, you know, never mind, you know, can these, can they make adjustments, you know, on the fly and everything, <clears throat> and they're already failing in this regard, uh, so I think what they need to do uh, is start putting their foot down to sloppy football. This isn't a Vance Joseph, uh, a Woods, you know, it, whether it comes down from Elway or, you know, it's Vic Fangio, Scandrello. Somebody's got to do, you know, there's got to be a, a cultural change. And that cultural change is if you fuck up, if you screw up and you cost this organization points, when you had the opportunity to get points, and you screwed that, you squandered that opportunity, I think it's time to go full belly chick on the players. And this right now is the target is on Hamilton's back. The guy's been a dropsy doodle. He's been, you know, nothing but, you know, uh, disappointing. And that can't be rewarded. Uh, it's time to put Juwan Winfrey in and, say, and tell him, look, kid, you got a chance. It's up to you. You can take his spot. You know, if you want to start fumbling around, stumbling around, then, you know, you ain't going to get that either because there's another guy we can put in your place. So it's time to bench uh, Hamilton. It's time for the organization to get serious about when it comes to players that cost points. It's time to send messages that this ain't this shit ain't going to fly with this organization. You know, if this doesn't happen, I'm telling you, we're just back to the same old Vance Joseph uh, Woods, <clears throat> and it's just Elway as usual. And, you know, you can't expect things to change when you're not willing to change. But it's got to start somewhere. Getting Hamilton benched is the start.